first graders, guess what? I made a silly mistake. In just a minute, I am going to start my video with you. I know that sounds kind of funny because right now I'm making a video, but I'm adding this onto the front of my first video that I made because guess what I did? I called you second graders and you're not second graders. So I apologize and when I say second graders, I'm really talking to you, the first graders. Okay, see you in a second. Hi, second graders. Last time you were in art class, we were learning about a style of art called pointillism. And if you watched your video, uh, we learned about an artist named Georges Seurat and I showed you some pictures that Seurat painted using the pointillism style. So last time you chose three shapes. I shouldn't say that. You drew three shapes, but they were the, all the same shape. I chose a heart for my demonstration, but you were able to choose whatever shape you wanted. You had to draw them. You had to have one big shape and two smaller ones. And then you had to have your shapes overlapping. So for my demonstration last time, it looked like this. And as you can see, I drew one big heart. I drew one heart overlapping the big heart and one heart that is overlapped by the big heart. And then up here, I started with my pointillism. Now remember that last time I used really thin markers to do this. Today, when I do my demonstration, I'm going to show you what it looks like with thicker markers. I think you're going to have a lot more success if you use the thicker markers, just because it will fill up the shapes a little bit faster. Okay, so your job today, once you finish watching this video, is to continue working on the pointillism, filling up the whole entire heart, or whatever shape it is that you drew. But remember that we're not just using one color. It's kind of hard to see here, but I started with blue, went to green, moved on to purple, and I will continue on doing that. And I might start my pattern over again. Maybe those are the only three colors I wanna use. So maybe when I'm done with my purple, I'll go back to using blue again. It's completely up to you how you wanna do it. I will do it um, when I do my demonstration today. I think I'll do a different color scheme on this heart or this heart, we'll see, okay? So that's what we'll be working on today. Okay, so last time when I did the demonstration, I sh showed you how to draw all of these and then I started showing you how to do pointillism, but I was using the skinny, really skinny markers. Today I am using thick ones. And like I said in the last video, um, I think these are going to work much better for you just because it will help you fill in these spaces faster. I'm afraid if you use the skinny ones, you're going to get tired of making dots. And then sometimes when we get tired, we start mm, maybe not doing as good of a job as we could. So if you have the thicker markers, try using those instead, okay? So I'm not gonna work on the big heart anymore because I wanna show you how to do one of the smaller ones. We're still using pointillism. We'll just make sure that we're using some different colors. Now, just because I stopped working on the big heart doesn't mean that I don't want you to continue working on it. I want you to finish everything. Just remember that when I do demonstrations, I don't finish the whole entire project because my videos would end up being probably an hour long. So. Finish this first, and then you can move on to your other hearts. Now, what you wanna do on these two hearts is make sure that you use colors that you didn't necessarily use in here. So say that I ended right here with, oh, green. I don't wanna start using green right here, okay? Now, if you notice, I was kind of doing stripes when I colored this heart in, so a stripe of blue, a stripe of green, a stripe of purple, and then I'd probably start over with my pattern. And this one, I am going to use a color on the outside and then a different color on the inside. So I'm only going to use two colors on this one. And that is going to look like, let's see, let me pick my colors and then I'll show you what it's going to look like. I think I am going to do yellow and pink, okay? 
Now, for mine, I want my outline of my heart to be pink like this, but it would just be the outline of the heart. So my heart is hidden by this heart. I'm not gonna put pink along here because by the time I get there, I would change to my other color. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute. So I want it a little thicker than what I have. And I'm just gonna go in and put some more dots in. Like this. <clears throat> and then I'll start with my other color. But first I'm just gonna go look and see if there's any spots where I maybe could use some extra dots and fill those in. Okay, now I'll use my yellow to fill the rest in. Now, I'm not sure if this shows up the best for you, but yellow and pink or yellow and red look pretty cool together. Just keep dotting, being very careful not to start turning my lines. I'm sorry, not to start turning my dots into lines. Okay. So, I'm gonna try to finish the yellow part of this. And then what I'm gonna do is bring just a few yellow dots into that pinkish reddish space, like this. And I'll get my pink and I'll bring just a few of those dots into my yellow to kind of Blend them all together like that. Okay, so this is what you're going to be working on today. I'm gonna to give you today and for sure the next class time um, to finish these before we get started on the next project. All right, next time I want you to bring this to class we're going to just kind of share and give suggestions and things like that. I just wanna see how the projects are coming along. Um, I don't need you to turn anything into me yet. We will talk more about that once we finish our first project. Um, and also once I figure out exactly how I need you to turn in your work. It might be just taking a picture and emailing it to me. It might be um, turning it in through Canvas I have to figure out the easiest way for everybody to do that. So continue working on this. You don't have to finish it yet, but for sure now you should be onto the markering part and coming along quite a, quite a bit with the markering part. Okay, I will see you next time. Have a great day.